Hi everyone, and welcome to the third and final part of my M4 iMac series videos. In part one, you saw me unbox my brand new iMac. I carried that big box in and opened it up and was so excited. In part two, I tested the performance of the M4 chip. The 32 gigabytes of RAM and this M4 chip are certainly handling everything that I need it to. As a graduate student studying content creation, I could not be happier with my purchase. So, the big question remains, should you upgrade to the M4 iMac? If you're coming from an Intel-based iMac like me, then you are going to see night and day performance difference. If you have an M3 series, I would suggest really consider waiting. I work with the M3 iMacs at grad school and the performance on them is still amazing. If you are a family who is looking for an all-in-one desktop, I would consider getting one of the base models of this M4 iMac. You really don't need all the RAM that I have in mind if you're just using it for day-to-day -day tasks. And if you are a professional working on high-quality video editing beyond the realms of what I'm doing, then you should consider a Mac Mini or a Mac Studio. You get a lot more for your money and a lot more power in those tiny little machines. You'll just need to get a monitor to work with it. Thank you so much for watching my iMac series. If you haven't seen the first two videos, please check them out. I hope that you can make an informed decision now as to whether you will upgrade to the M4 chip like me or if you will hold off for a newer model in the future. Thank you for watching.